So these are the two brushes that we're going to be creating today. We are going to be creating a linear pattern and we're also going to be creating a diagonal line pattern as well. So we are going to create both of these today in this little video. So if you want to learn how to make these brushes, tune in and we'll get started. And if you want these two brushes that we made today, you can download them for free. I'll leave the link below. So first things first is we need to start out with a new canvas. So we are going to do 3000 by 3000 pixels just to get a nice square. Now it is important to have a square for this process. So we are going to start with a black pen and I'm going to turn my drawing guide on just to help a little bit. You don't need your drawing guide on for this way actually, which is really nice, but I like to have it just in case. So the first thing that we are going to do is we need to draw a rectangle, a perfect rectangle. So there are a couple of ways how you can do this. You can draw a perfect rectangle by drawing one simply like this, holding it and you can edit shape rectangle and there you go but sometimes it doesn't always connect so that's not my favorite way when you're creating a pattern like this that needs to be spot on and perfect so my favorite way is you click this little icon right here and you come down here and it'll say freehand automatic anything like that we're going to click rectangle okay and we are going to just create that rectangle right here in the middle of our guide it doesn't completely matter how big it is just kind of on the screen there and then we are going to take our color up here our black and we're just going to drop it in to color that okay and then let go of that so now you have your rectangle okay so I'm going to move this just into the middle just to make it easy and then I'm going to make sure that I have free form selected down here so I can just pull this to make sure that it's all the way along the canvas. If you have a uniform selected, it's going to make the whole thing go bigger, which isn't a problem right now, but it will be a problem later on. So we're going to just use freeform to get used to it. Now, the easiest way that I have found to do this for beginners is to just keep copying this and make sure that you create the exact size and colors that you want and the size of the lines that you want in between them. So if you want perfectly equal parallel lines this is the easiest way to do it without doing a bunch of measurements so what we're going to do is we're going to take our first layer we're going to duplicate it and then we're going to pick a new color let's say this blue and we're going to drop it in now it looks like that one went away but it didn't don't worry so we're going to take this layer and we're going to move it on over now make sure you have your snapping and your magnetics up because we are going to pull over here and it's going to snap right on to that line right there. So I always zoom in just to make sure and snap it right on. And this is great because these are still both along the canvas and we haven't messed them up. So we're going to duplicate this one again and we'll see if we can fit it on the other side without losing part of this line as well. So you never want to cut off any of these lines. So if it were to be over here, you would want to take everything and make it smaller before duplicating this. And I'll show you what I mean by that. But since it will fit without going off the page, we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to make sure it snaps into place right next to that black one. Snap it in. Okay. And again, we're going to make sure it fills up the whole page. Okay. So now we have these three lines, right? then we need to add a fourth black one to make this a repeating pattern. So I'm going to select all of these layers, go to my cursor, make sure I have freeform selected, and then I'm going to scoot all of these over and make them smaller. Now you can make them any size you want right now because we're just going to make them bigger again. I like to make it a little bit extra room to work with um, so that we can then just make it big later. So after creating that, we're going to just duplicate our black one. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Pull it on over, make sure it snaps in. That one snapped in easily. Now I'm going to zoom in and then you can see that there's a little bit of white space, which we don't want. And you can nudge it over if you need to. And I can nudge it one more time. Okay. And that's going to be perfect. So now these four are all the exact same size, perfectly parallel to each other. Okay. So 
So now to fill this with the entire screen, now this was why we wanted to make sure we're using a square canvas. We're gonna select every layer again, and we are gonna freeform, make sure it's freeform, not uniform. We are gonna freeform, pull everything to the side, snap it onto the side, and we're gonna snap that onto the side. Now what that does is just make sure that all of these are the exact same size on this canvas. So now that we have this blue, we're gonna turn this blue back to white. Now it was helpful while we were doing this to be able to see it as blue, but if we put blue into the brush, it's just not gonna know what we're doing. So we're gonna make sure that we have each of these layers like that. Now I'm gonna group these layers because we're gonna come back to this later. Um, and we can go ahead and group that, but I'm gonna copy this group, I'm gonna duplicate it, and then I'm actually gonna just merge all of these down, okay? So now we're gonna copy this, okay? Copy that layer of all of our design so far. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna just take my monoline brush, I'm gonna duplicate it, and we're gonna change the settings within the brush. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into grain, edit, import, paste, okay? We're gonna paste that in there. And you don't see any difference right now because it's in moving. So we need to put it into texturized to really get what we wanna see here. So we are gonna keep the scale here. We're gonna move the depth up. I like to have it all the way to the max. And then we're gonna move the scale down just so that you guys can see what we're creating here. As you can see, it's gonna create a pattern. So I like to make sure I have that, and then sometimes I'll go and render, make sure the flow is all the way up. And now you'll see we just created this smooth line right here. So I'm gonna go on this new layer up here. We're gonna just hide this for now. Let's pick a new color, let's pick this dark blue. Let's hide this layer too. And I'm gonna get rid of my drawing guide. And I'm gonna show you guys what we just created. Now you can see here, I'm gonna make my brush even bigger. We just created a pattern within this brush. So wherever, if we pick it up, it will still go along with that pattern. So this isn't a brush that just draws in lines. It's gonna draw in an exact pattern which is great in Procreate if you wanna make a pattern along the background or if you wanna use it to fill anything in within your artwork. Okay, so now that we have this one done, what if we wanted to make a diagonal pattern? So we love these lines right here, but let's make these diagonal lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete that. And then this was why we duplicated this layer. So I'm gonna duplicate this again because that's gonna be our old one. I like to keep all of the files in case I ever need to make a tweak or I wanna do another one. So I'm gonna take the second duplicated layer. We're gonna have uniform and then we're gonna rotate this 45 degrees, okay? Now, when you're looking at this canvas here, we need to make sure that we still keep these the exact same size and we need to start with black up here and we need to end with our white up here. So we're gonna keep this canvas size as is. So we are just gonna go I'm gonna take it off uniform, put it back onto free form. And then we're gonna pull this just to that edge there until you get that gold mark. So you'll see those gold lines from the snapping. And we're gonna pull that. See those gold lines from snapping. Pull it up here and pull it down here. Now we should have made the exact diagonal line that we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and we'll see how we did. So after we've already created one pattern, it's easiest to just duplicate that brush. And then all you have to do is go in and change your grain. So we're gonna go paste that there, and see what happens. And you'll see, you can't see right now just yet. I'm also gonna make this brush maximum opacity, minimum size, bring that up. Okay, so you can see right here that it's gonna be diagonal now. So. Let's do a little test. I'm gonna do a different color for this one. Let's do this pink color. Have that all the way up. And now it's gonna create a diagonal pattern for us. So I can fill this in up, down, sideways. I can go in curly cues. And it's always gonna draw 
this diagonal pattern for me. So this is why I love Procreate patterns. It's one of my favorite things to make because it's so satisfying once you've created them and it's so easy to use these in your designs. So you can use this as a pattern. You can even put patterns on top of each other and you can create some really cool things using patterns. So these are the two brushes that we've created today and then I will just show you guys a couple of my other favorite pattern brushes that I have. So I'm gonna use, let's use a different color. Let's use this lighter pink color. And I'll show you some of the other patterns that I've created. I've created this X pattern as you can see right here. So it's got all of these X's. And then if I ever wanted to make the pattern a little bit bigger, you go into grain, scale, and make it bigger. So as you can see here, just made it bigger. Okay, see how that works? So that's one of my favorite ones. I also love these, this confetti one that I made. Super fun, I'll make it black so it's easier for you to see. This confetti one is really fun. I also love my hearts one. Bunch of different ones. So you can get really creative with all of these different ones that you're wanting to make. These are my squiggles. Um, you can really get creative with these brushes. Let me know if you guys have any questions about creating Procreate brushes. And if you want these two brushes that we've made today, you can download them for free. I'll leave the link below. Um, but I'll leave these two in a free download for you guys so that you can check them out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.